Okay, um, well, welcome to our um, lab nine. So in this lab, we are going to define our own class in Python. Okay, uh, so this is kind of combination of our previous labs that uh, within the class, we are going to create my statistic, statistic, statistic class, uh, which has actually four methods that can calculate a sigma, pi, factorial and also permutation and after that we will create an instance that we call it my calculator so the calculator instance will report the result for the following calculations so uh, sigma pi uh, factorial and also permutation so uh, if you remember that in our previous lectures or labs we kind have defined those functions that separately, uh, especially if you check our lab eight, uh, lecture eight. So you can see here, we have the function to calculate the absolute values. Uh, we have function that to calculate the sigma, the pi, uh, the factorial, which is a recursive function. And uh, we also have the function to calculate the permutation, which actually is calling the factorial function. Okay, so now we have those functions that are ready. So it actually it's easier to define a class that include those functions as methods. Okay, uh, so first let's create our uh, Python library, Python module, which we call lab9.py. And let's add a regional command. Let's see, this is class lab9 class lab. Okay, and let's define our class. So let's say class, and the name is my statistics. Okay, and parentheses, and also colon. Okay, and for this class, uh, we don't need that initial method because we are not going to create some. Uh, attribute that to uh, when we want to create this instance so we can just simply copy those functions uh, from lecture 8 into our uh, class of lecture 9 so let's calculate the uh, let's copy the sigma so copy sigma and also paste that here okay so this is a function that we defined earlier. So now we use this function as a method into our class. OK, so later on when we create an object from this class, we will be able to call the functions. So before we continue, so let's first look at this function. So that means this is going to calculate sigma. So that is starting from n plus n plus 1 plus n plus 2 until we reach the m. OK, so um, to do that, we have the result variable within this function. So we say for i in range from n to m plus 1, result equals result plus i. And finally, so this function will result in, result will return the result. OK, so now we can see we have an error. That is because this is a method. So the first argument should always be self. Okay. And we also mentioned that why um, the method has to be self uh, during our lecture. So it's OK. So that is our first method. And let's also uh, so you can pause the video here and see if you can finish the other method on your own. Do it together. So let's, let's copy the second one that is calculating pi. Copy it and paste that one to our class. And also make sure that because right now they are within this class, so we need indentation for the class. Uh, we also need the indentation for this method. <coughs> and again, um, the first argument should always be the self. So for the pi, we say, OK, the default result is 1. For i in range from n to m plus 1, result equals result times i. So by doing that, we can calculate the pi from n to m. 
All right, uh, so let's continue to go to the factorial. So factorial is an is an interesting function. OK, so now it is a method. Uh, so this is a recursive method. So factorial is calculating m for factor m that equals m plus m minus 1 until plus 1. So the idea is that if m equals 0, we will return 1. However, otherwise, uh, to calculate the factorial of m, which equals m times the factorial of m minus 1. OK, so that is a recursive function. However, so to make that work in a class, we have to use self as the first uh, argument. And also remember that because this is a recursive function, so when we call the function, when we call the method in the class, we have also used self dot. So to call that method, so even that is a recursive uh, method. OK, great. Uh, next, let's copy this calculate the permutation. So uh, the permutation function is also very interesting. So because we know that to calculate permutation between m and n, that is the factorial of the m divided by the factorial of m minus n. So here in our original function, so to calculate the, the permutation, we are calling the result, we are calling the function of this uh, factorial function. Okay, but now since this is in a class, so we have used self, okay, as the first argument. And within this class, so if we want to call the factorial method, we also need to use self dot that method and also self dot that method. Okay, so now we have defined our method. Okay, so based on our previous uh, examples. Okay, so which we have a very nice class. And now if we go to the outline, so we can see here we have one class. Within that class, we have those uh, four functions. Okay, uh, which is actually uh, 3.1. Okay, so let's go to 3.2. So here we are going to create an instance called my calculator so my calculator equals so now we are calling that class uh, which is my state okay and because we don't have any uh, required um, attributes so here we could just call it like that and if we print my calculator okay we can see this is an object that is based on this class. So now we can use this calculator to do to do some things. So for example, if we use dot, so now you can see we can call all those functions or all those methods that defined in this method or in this class. So first, let's call the sigma, and we are going to calculate from uh, from three to five. So for some reason, I put the big number as a first argument and also second number as the, the smaller number as the second argument. So now if we run it, you can see it worked. Okay, so the result is 12. That is correct. And let's also print my calculator dot. So next, let's calculate the pi. Okay, uh, it is C L pi. Okay. Um, so here we are calculating the pi from three to five. So again, five first and also three to second. And now if we run it, okay, so we have the pi that is also correct. And the next, let's calculate the factorial of the five. So my calculator dot calculate factorial and we want to calculate 5 and now if we run it okay so that is a factorial of 5 and which is also correct and finally let's say print my calculator dot calculate permutation that is from 2 to 5 
Okay, so let's try that one. Okay, so the result is 20, and which is also correct. All right, so that's all for this lab. So we have defined our class, uh, which has uh, four functions that to calculate the sigma, pi, factorial, and also permutation. And next, we create an object or instance from that class, and we are using calling those methods that are defined in those class. Okay. And finally, so we can also upload this one to GitHub. And on GitHub, you will see that GitHub is also able to detect the classes and also functions. Okay, so let's see git add dash dash all git commit uh, dash m. So this is my lab nine git push. All right, and now let's go to our GitHub. And let's find out our lab nine, uh, which is here. OK, so now you can see we have a class and also we have those methods. So if I click jump, you can see we have this class. And we can also jump to the functions directly. So if, for example, if we go to the factorial, so here we are. Okay, so that is also a very nice feature on GitHub.